This is a demonstration of the Dan Lowenberg Store Lens Parameters Tool. So here it is. So the first question is why would you want to use this? Normally, of course, you can just save, export, and import lens profiles, and you've got almost all of your settings. But this tool does a couple of cool things. Uh, for example, right here, we can see that we've set up a lens table for this anamorphic lens, and that when we drag on this slider here, all these values will animate. So I've used a new convention here, which is that if it says two centimeters, that actually equals two feet. And if I've got 10 centimeters, that equals 10 feet. And 60 centimeters would be 60 feet. Uh, going with centimeters uh, makes many other operations much easier because equalizer is natively in centimeters. So, if we were to store this lens and export it, we'd get the same lens lookup table that we uh, started with. So what you do is you go here, and we already have one in here, and we just hit store, and then we bring it up, and we see now we've got a couple of these in here. So this 25 millimeter, this is one we want. And notice it also automatically appends the frame number that you're at, which can be very useful. This is great for layout, all kinds of things. Of course, it always stores your actual focal length, not a nominal focal length, and um, the focus distance. Every single value is stored. Now on this list right here, it's uh, stored in a single file in your home directory. Uh, you don't have to know its name, but if you've got more than 16 of these that you build up, uh, the tool will fail, and uh, so you'd have to delete the file. So be sure to remove presets that you don't want. So here we're going to store another one. Store, and then when we come back to the tool, we'll see there's three different lenses, and again, you can hit reload also. So if we want to load and get rid of this lookup table, because you know if you use uh, some of the new techniques for solving um, distortion, you use curve vertices, and uh, we won't be using lens lookup tables as much as we used to in the past. So here, I'm going to bring this right here. Restore. Now if I go right here, let me try that again. pick out the one I want. These values will then be copied here. And now we're set. So now what we've done is we've taken our lens lookup table, which can be hard to work with when you're um, optimizing parameters. And now we've in one step baked it. And with this tool has so many, many different uses, you'll find them. And uh, anyway, enjoy.